What a tragedy. Another irresponsible gun order. Let's get into it. A tragic story out of Florida where police say a toddler accidentally shot and killed a young mother during a work-related Zoom call. Officers were called to an apartment complex in Al Monte Springs. They say someone on the call heard a loud noise and saw 21-year-old Shamaya Lynn fall backwards. Paramedics tried to save Lynn, but she died of a gunshot wound to the head. According to investigators, one of Lynn's two young children shot her with an unsecured, loaded gun. To anyone and everyone tuning into this story, if you own a firearm, please keep it locked and secured. Incidents like this could be avoided. Authorities say the father owns the gun. It is unclear if he will face charges. Relatives are now caring for the children. First off, let me give my condolences out to the victim's family, uh, Ms. Shamaya Lynn, um, also to her precious little boy. Um, she was just only 21 years old. Just, just really, just really sad. But my question is, why tragedies like this keep happening? Kids finding unsecured guns, accidentally shooting themselves or someone in the house. And, and with this case here, why was the gun unlocked and unsecured? There are two children running around the apartment. And again, why are you leaving a loaded gun and an easy access for two kids that's running around the apartment? When are people going to learn? If you have a gun, some weapons in your home, lock them up in a secure location. Most likely the gun was in a, was in an easy accessible place, maybe in the drawer, um, underneath a pillow, the mattress or something. People be so damn reckless with where they put these guns. And apparently it was the father's gun. So many times children shooting other people or, again, shooting themselves. I mean, what an awful story. Could you imagine learning you accidentally killed your mom as a small child? If people can't follow gun safety protocols, then you shouldn't have a gun. Period. How hard is it to make sure that your gun is in a secure location in your home? A Especially if you have small children around who gets into everything. Now, I, I'm a mother. I'm an aunt. And especially at that age, that they toddlers. Toddlers get into everything. Everything. Because they're curious. This is pure carelessness, sir. The boyfriend, the child's father, baby daddy. You, baby, you better lawyer up because charge is coming. Oh, they're going to stick some charges on you. Soon as, um, probably as soon as they lay this young lady to rest. Oh, they coming after you. Because they're going to they gonna, they gonna hold somebody accountable for this. The gun can easily be placed up on the closet shelf in a latch uh, lock box when it's not in use. Now, you got the father that probably work away from the home while, while mama work from home. Now she probably doing some calls and and or getting prepared for this meeting here. And here you got these little you got these toddlers running around the apartment. They're bored. Kids get, get easily bored. That's why sometimes you got to set them up. Get them some snacks. Put their TV on. Put a little put a little um toys around them until they bust to stay right there. But they're around there roaming around that place. Around that apartment and found that gun. They had plenty of times. Because while she, while she working and on the phone call. The kids got plenty of time. They, they're roaming around the apartment. They're getting into this and curious about that. And they found that gun. Now these tragedies can be so easily prevented. Yet they seem to happen often. We need better gun training. How to keep your guns in a safe place teach kids and adults gun safety all right guys that's it thanks for visiting my channel i'm lady t 
Let's continue the discussion in the comment section. Tell me your thoughts on the story. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I will catch you in the next video. Be blessed. Bye.